I'm Carl Heinrich, and we're in the kitchen with Foodism, making wild leek fettuccine with Tosho knife arts. That is a beautiful knife. So many Italian chefs right now, they're gonna be laughing at me. <laughs> I love this pasta. You know, it's a fresh, oh shit, come on. <laughs> you know, there's nothing that screams spring more than wild leeks. These ones we actually picked ourselves. I bring my kids along, we go into the forest, we dig these leeks up, and they're just so lovely. It's just such a beautiful, sweet, subtle, oh, I could eat these all year long. There's not a much better way to showcase the ramps than to put them into a fresh pasta. It's got a very delicate, sweet flavor. This is a very eggy dough. And when you're making a fresh pasta like a fettuccine or a linguine, it's easy to stretch. It's not gonna dry out on you. And it's gonna cook very quickly at the end of the day. That's your money. What I love about this dish too is that we're not really using a ton of meat here. Meat production is one of the most difficult things for the planet, especially when it comes to the, the food that the animals are eating. Everything I know about agriculture now I can't unknow. We need to all do our part to find ways to mitigate climate change. Buying food from farms that are practicing regenerative agriculture is frankly the easiest way to do that. We're using this beautiful, rich, dark, roasted beef stock here. We don't need to put anything else in that. It's gonna add all the protein, it's gonna add all that richness that we need, that sort of like lip smacking goodness. I moved to Toronto about 10 years ago Toronto was the best food city in the country, and it was so easy to go an hour outside of the city. All these farmers were just so inviting. Come onto our property, come into our house. I really fell in love with the Toronto dining scene. Don't be shy with the butter, guys. Grass-fed butter. You know, 10 years ago when we opened Richmond Station, it was about, you know, getting four walls up and food on plates and drinks and glasses. But we've realized over the past decade that there's so much more to the hospitality industry. And particularly in the past year with our staff, a lot of them haven't worked in an entire year. And we're, we're looking at this and saying, well, none of these staff have any benefits because they're getting paid in cash. You should be able to buy a car, get a mortgage, have a family, work, 40 hours a week at the end of the day. And for most people in restaurants, that will never be an option. And I think that's wrong. You guys, it's gonna taste good. COVID-19 has taught us a lot of things as a business. Uh, a year ago, we were indoor dining only. We were food on plates, we were off-site events, but it was very much person to person. Now, you can order Richmond Station on your couch, <laughs> in your underwear, <laughs> you know. It really taught me that we needed to have more diversity in our business uh, from a revenue point of view since day one. And I think things like takeout, virtual events, these things are gonna be a part of our business for a long time now. I think they're never gonna go away. The rosemary, the thyme, the garlic, the wine, the beef stock, the mushrooms, it's all just coming together. Mm. Well, guys, it doesn't get any better than that. All right, you want to you want to get the you want to get the bloopers here, right? Yes. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Table. Table. Who? Chair. That's not a joke. So I got to figure out how to use this thing. Do you talk to it? Hello, Siri. Medium heat, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Siri, play Phil Collins. I didn't mean that. Phil Collins bit. 